Thank you, Dan. It is the worst thing a bride can possibly imagine, a canceled wedding. It could be a reality, though, for brides renting out a historic Tulsa venue. Two News reporter Liz Bryant is live tonight at the place that can't pay its bills. Well, Karen, Oklahoma's Jazz Hall of Fame is about $65,000 behind on bills. Yet it's business as usual. You can see here there was an event tonight, and they're still booking weddings for the next year. Everything looked wonderful. Um, it appeared to be well run. Robin Teeter says it was love at first sight for her daughter's Art Deco themed wedding. We went down to every detail for this venue. She signed this contract paying the entire $3,500 to rent out the space. That was back in January and the wedding is less than a month away. Crumbling before their eyes. It's a, it's a huge disappointment. <laughs> Jazz Hall of Fame rents this building from Tulsa County. They're failing to perform their obligation under the terms of the lease. County Commissioner John Smoligo says the Hall of Fame is more than $65,000 behind on bills. Half of that for electricity. They have until October 8th to get finances in order, or Smoligo and other commissioners could kick out the tenants. We're going to do everything we can, but I cannot give any assurances right now. Smoligo says he's trying to find a way legally to still have these weddings, but there's a gray area because the money was paid to a private group. Best case scenario for this entire situation is for the Jazz Hall of Fame to simply pay their utilities. If they pay their utilities, there is no issue. The Jazz Hall of Fame's president says this week they started repaying the bills thanks to donors. He assures they are staying and all weddings are okay. As for Robin, she doesn't have any answers until October 8th. And October 8th, do the math to the 20th, that's not much time to make a change. Even if I change the venue, the other changes that have to happen along with that are monumental. She has a plan B for her daughter's wedding, which doubles the cost. And I'm going to fight to make sure we get the wedding we planned. I want the electricity on. And we, of course, want to give both sides of this story a chance to talk. This is actually CEO Jason uh, McIntosh. He is the CEO of the Oklahoma Jazz Hall of Fame. And, Jason, you assure brides not to worry. Whether you're a man, woman, or child, or elected official, no one wants to stand in the way of a woman and her wedding. If you've got a contract and you're going to have a wedding here, uh, we guarantee it. And we really appreciate the county working with us as we go through this and we pay down our debts. How are you guaranteeing this? We have a contract, and plus we'll make our deadline. Okay, thank you so much, thank Jason. You. Live in downtown Tulsa, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you.